Welcome back to the next video on uh, the butchering of the rabbits. Um, so you're going to need a just a broom handle, a whatever handle, just a round piece of wood. Um, I always this is the way. There's many ways of doing it. This is the way that I find works best and is quickest. Um, so you'll take your rabbit by the back feet. You'll lay their head down on the floor, the front feet, and you'll put this right behind their ears. And then you make sure their feet aren't under it. So it's just there right behind their ears. You see, step on the one side, and then as you step down on the other side, you give it a really good firm pull, and it kills them instantly. You just got to give it a good hard pull, and they're dead. If you do it all quickly, they don't even feel a thing. So that's the way I find works best to kill the rabbits. So I'm going to, uh, I can't show the process on YouTube because of guidelines and all that good stuff. But um, I do want to say if you don't like to see a dead animal, don't like to see blood, guts, or anything like that, um, probably shouldn't watch this video because there will be a dead rabbit um, and I'll be skinning it, gutting it, showing you the process on how to clean it and process it. So if you don't like that, just carry on, don't, don't watch this video. Um, but for the ones that uh, want to see how to butcher a rabbit, this will be the video and I will uh, show you everything you need to know to uh, process a rabbit. So I will uh, quickly dispatch them and then I will get right back to you guys and we will carry on with the cleaning process of the well, cleaning process of the process, so to speak. So we'll uh, catch you soon. Alrighty folks, we've uh, dispatched them. So make sure they are good. They will kick a little bit because it is, um, it's just their nerves um, to confirm that you did it right. If you just feel right behind their head right here, there will be a gap. You won't feel a spine there because you've, you've um, separated it from the, from the head. Um, and when you do skin it, there will be quite a bit of bloodshot and a bit of bruising right here. Um, especially if it's, if you accidentally got a bit of the shoulders and they're wiggling around, so then you it, it hit a bit there, but it'll be fine. It's no big deal. But yeah, if you just feel right there on every single one, there'll be nothing there. You can see on her, there's just, sorry, there's nothing here. So it's just, uh, that's how you can confirm that you did a good, thorough, clean, clean one. So I'll show you how to clean one of them. Then I'll get the other three cleaned up and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what the finished product should look like. So let's, uh, let's get those done. All right, folks, I don't know if you can see, but got these two wires hanging here. So right behind their back leg, here, I'll show you. Right in here, there is a uh, tendon that, and you can cut right between it. And you can hang them by their back legs right here. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang them right from here and uh, then you can skin them and everything a little bit easier. All right, guys. So got them hanging up like this. You can see, yeah, you can see. So hang them up like that, right? So what you wanna do, the way I do it, sometimes you can split them up the stomach, peel them back that way. The way I like to do it is you take from here, you cut around this leg, right here, and you cut around this leg, and you do a V, right down through, through the crotch, back up, and then you just, uh, He's gonna peel it right down like that. So get started on that and then yeah. Alright, once you got that going, a nice little dull. Whatever. Okay, so when they're warm, you can actually pull it um, pretty you should be able to just pretty much pull down, just run your knife on it, and pretty much pull it without even having to cut it sometimes. So it's just like that. It should just rip right off for you. Front feet, I want to just take a cut around your foot like this. Just give it a quick snap, just like that. Break it right off. 
and then you can cut it right off. That way you can pull your hive right over top of the front feet. Yeah, just take it out and give it a quick snap. Boy, it's nice, really dull. Really gotta fix that. Probably the best knife to do this with would just be like a normal razor blade. Now this right here, they come out. I want to be very careful not to uh, cut that. You'll have pee all over your meat and you got to clean it and it's not very good to have that on your meat. So you want to be very careful not to cut that. So what you can do is you can grab it like so. Plug it off, right? You just grab it like that, give it a plug. And you gotta hold it just like that. So that you wanna be very careful not to, to get on your meat. I did take the food and water away from them yesterday so that they don't, you know, they're not as full in their I was hoping they didn't have any in their in their bladder, but um, apparently that You just gotta find the feet. Just give it a try and give it a push back up in. Like takes a little bit, but just push it right back. Like that get a hold of it. You just you can work with your fingers. You don't always have to use a knife. Sometimes your knife is not your best friend. I just get it like that, and then I just give it a quick trim. like that. Um, don't worry about getting hair on the meat. Try not to get hair on the meat, but um, the uh, just take them in and you wash them really good with some cold water, cool water, and uh, clean them all up nicely. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a bit more work to clean them and all that, but you're going to clean them anyway, or I would recommend cleaning them anyway. All right, sorry guys, battery died. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I got in the last one, but cut the, cut it off where you where the neck has been dislocated from when you killed it, and this should be your end result. Just a pelt like this. Um, if you do want to keep the hide, you want to just carefully take and skin the head right out, um, stretch it over a board so it's stretched out nicely inside out, and just put some salt on it for a couple days till it kind of feels dry and stuff like that and you're good to go. It's all cured. You can leave it like that for as long as you want. Uh, if you want it a bit softer, you can give the hide a stretch. <coughs> Excuse me. Every uh, once in a while, they'll kind of break the fibers as it's curing with salt and it'll be a bit softer. But yeah, that's how it's how you skin it. And to butcher, or to, not to butcher, we already did that. Um, to gut it, you just cut right in here it's all, this is all the guts. It's just hanging down in here because that's where we did it. So you can cut the back, right between the back legs, you just give it a cut. There's a bit of a bone there, but it, you can just break through it with your knife. It's thin enough on a rabbit. If you're doing a deer or something else, then it's not, but on a rabbit, you can usually just get it with your knife, just like that. Bust it open so you can access the back part. So yeah, you just grab it here. And we're just gonna cut it like so. Okay, Sunny. And you just split. Just split it right down the middle right here. Oh, hi. My knife is very dull. You just split it here, all the guts will just pop right out of them. Just 
just like that. And you just pull them, pull them all out. Just drop them down there. The heart's really good to eat. They're very small, but the heart and the liver and stuff, all very good stuff to eat. If you're into that kind of stuff, um, I quite enjoy it, but not everyone likes heart. So. so yeah, you just clean the whole cavity. There's not much you can really hurt. Once you get past the bladder and everything, just start cutting. There's not much you can hurt. You just start cutting it and get it all cleaned out. He's really fat. You know, won't have any of this on a young one. This is all just extra fat that is very, uh, yeah, just get rid of it. But you won't have that on a young one unless you've kept him too long. Don't keep a rabbit past that five, maybe six month mark. You don't get your money worth out of them. They end up eating more than what they're worth. So, yeah, don't ever. Don't keep a rabbit past that point. So, just gonna clean them all up here. And cut right down here, because they have their trinket and everything in here. So if you just split that, split their chest and stuff wide open, right down into there, and you can just pull their air pipe and everything right out. like that and get the whole windpipe and everything right out so yeah that's uh you can just cut the back feet off when you're all done um this you can keep it's quite uh we always some we usually just fry our rabbit it's really good fried for you that have not have tried it i uh highly recommend at least trying it once uh, but this here is kind of tough so you can either cut this flapper part off or Cut it up really small when you want it, when you want to eat it or whatever. But I don't like to waste anything on an animal, so um, we'll keep it and make do with it. But yeah, then you just take, yeah, wash them up really good, get all the blood and everything off, um, vacuum pack them or put them in a Ziploc bag. Just try and get the most air out of it as possible, and throw them in the freezer. Um, you can debone them too, cut all the meat off, whatever you want. But uh, that's how you. That's how you uh, skin and clean a rabbit. Um, really quite simple, there's not much that can go wrong. Uh, you just dig in there, get at it, and figure it out, so to speak. But that's the, uh, that's how it's done. So, um, if you like this video, it'd be awesome if you would like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button so you get notified when we, up, uh, when we upload again. Um, I appreciate you watching this video and hopefully it helped a little bit on uh, how to clean a rabbit and um, yeah, we'll uh, catch you all in the next video. Thank you very much.